quadratic inequalities. The graph shows y equals x squared minus 4x minus 5. We can sketch it by factorising the quadratic to get y equals x minus 5, x plus 1. So the graph crosses the x-axis, when y is 0, at x equals minus 1 and x is 5. But for what values of x is x squared minus 4x minus 5 less than 0? This is the same as asking for what values of x is y less than 0 for this graph. And y is less than 0 underneath the x-axis between x is minus 1 and x is 5. Hence the solution for x squared minus 4x minus 5 is less than 0, is minus 1, is less than x, is less than 5. Just the one region. For what values of x is x squared minus 4x minus 5 greater than 0? This is the same as asking for what values of x is y greater than 0 for this graph. y is greater than 0 above the x-axis for all values of x below x equals minus 1 and for all values of x above x equals 5. And hence the solution for x squared minus 4x minus 5 is greater than 0 is that x is either less than minus 1 or x is greater than 5. Two regions. In general, for a is less than x is less than b, if x minus a, x minus b is less than 0, then x is between a and b. And if x minus a, x minus b is greater than 0, then x is less than a, or x is greater than b. So a less than is one region, a greater than is two. We end with a contextual example. A rectangular lawn has sides of 2x minus 3 metres and x plus 4 metres. Its perimeter is greater than 14 metres, but its area is no more than 30 metres squared. Find the set of possible values for x. The perimeter can be written as p equals 2 lots of 2x minus 3 plus 2 lots of x plus 4, which is greater than 14. A linear inequality which simplifies to x is greater than 2. The area can be written as a equals 2x minus 3 times x plus 4 is less than or equal to 30 which simplifies to 2x squared plus 5x minus 42 is less than or equal to 0, which, after factorising and solving, gives us critical values of minus 6 and 7 over 2. Using our quadratic inequalities approach, we find that minus 6 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 7 over 2. Combining our two results, if x is greater than 2 and x is between minus 6 and 7 over 2, then we get 2 is less than x, is less than or equal to 7 over 2.